great side at Indian Stadium, 29,465 attending the game, breaking and shattering last year's record mark of just over 25,000. Boy, it was a great atmosphere, was great. wasn't it? It was a great atmosphere. It's the way it should be. And, uh, you know, we got to play better and, and get these people to come back week in and week out. Talking about uh, the fans, you wanted to show them uh, good football. What, uh, what were you able to show them last night? Well, I, I think what the fans saw was they saw a, a young football team, a, a team that's still in transition, uh, a team that can grow offensively. I think we can grow offensively, and I think we can score a lot of points offensively. And we need some more depth up front, but, uh, you know, I think they're going to enjoy seeing us play offensively. And defensively, we're probably going to have to get more players involved. We've got to be a little bit sounder, and, and we've got to get better on defense. All right, let's go out second half action. We're tied up at 21, Arkansas State and UCA. And the moon, not over Bourbon Street, but uh, over Stadium Drive. Mascots going at it a little bit, tied yeah, at 21. Yeah, we're, we're going to have to coach it. our mascot up to stay <laughs> off the field. I, I love our mascot, but we're going to have to get him off. We can't absorb any more penalties. Uh, we're in the outside lead, starting the ball game off, and uh, starting the second half off. And Lamont uh, you know, did a nice job here three straight times and got a little winded and we had to get him out of the game but nice great second effort uh, uh, we need to block a little bit better for him we get him out flanked here on the tall sweep and he outruns a couple of people stays in bounds and uh, nice good tough running now, you know the, this was a disappointing thing we should have we should have handled the blitz better there uh, I probably screwed him up there I, I you know I, it was a bad call on my part and we were fortunate to get the field goal, but we need touchdowns instead of field goals. We need to get this. We need to get the game where it's a two-touchdown game at least. There again, uh, nice coverage uh, by Chappelle. We in man coverage. Uh, there, great play by Clarence Williams, and not only knocks the ball loose, but he recovers it. Now, sudden change. We need to go in offensively and put this ball game away and have some fun. Uh, we didn't do that. Uh, really. Uh, they started, they changed their scheme uh, defensively in the second half because they couldn't handle us in the running game, so they started playing a lot of man coverage and blitzing us and really making it tough against the run. Here comes Chappelle Mitchell on a punt return. Pretty good up the sideline. Nice punt return. You know, we were in a, uh, where we were holding them up on the line of scrimmage, and it was a nice punt return. Come with a sprint draw off of, uh, off of our, what we call our heavy set with, uh, Alistair and, and Austin and Lamont and Lenny all in the game at the same time. You know, now we got now we need to put the killer instinct on. You know, we're up by ten or should be up by ten. We get the extra point there, which we gotta we gotta be able to convert those pretty simple things. And uh, you know, we need to come out defensively, and put the stop on them, and and score again and get this thing out of reach. We don't. They hit us with a screen. We don't lock up. And they get a big third down, uh, first down, and then. You know, it's like uh, deja vu all over again, you know. We're going to have to learn that uh, this guy's probably a better athlete than Rodney, we, and uh, we need to be a little bit sounder. Enrico Greer, five catches for 118 yards. He's a player. He's a player, and there again, uh, nice play by Rodney. He's a competitor. He's a good little athlete and comes up with a great interception there. Uh, another sack here by Kelvin Tate. You know, at times, Mark, we played real well in defense. We really did. Uh, we went to an eight-man protection where we can get the ball off. Uh, nice catch by Lamont for a first down. Hit a swing pass here to uh, Austin Tinsley, and, and, you know, we're about six inches short. Probably a questionable call when you don't get it. But uh, with the way we're playing, and uh, I think we can rush the football and, and get six inches. We don't, and turn the ball over, and you know they come back and hit a trap. I think here for for about a 50-yard touchdown. Really poor execution defensively. We don't uh, don't tackle the ball here. We hit him on the 12, and, and he ends up scoring. Former win Yellow Jacket Eugene Mabin. Things don't look real good for the home team right now. You know, down by five. On fourth down, we try double post and try to get the ball to Lamont. Uh, not a great route, and nice interception by then. We get it back with 50-something seconds left. Good protection, uh, no timeouts. Good example, nice uh, throw and catch, and most important, get out of bounds. We come out, come back with a 
but it ends up being a comeback route by Lenny, and he outruns the corner, and now we've got a chance. But, Mark, the great thing is we, well, it's a great example of conserving your timeouts, because if we don't conserve our timeouts, we don't have an opportunity to get the ball back with 50-something seconds. We felt like they were going to be in man coverage, and we run a bar route underneath and a, and a post corner with the top receiver and and try to get the ball out to Lenny here. It's the same route we ran at Ohio State in the last play of the of the uh, Rose Bowl, but we hit the inside game and inside receiver. So there's a great throw and a great catch and a great comeback, and it's nice to know that these young people aren't going to quit. Let me congratulate Coach Isom. And his football team, uh, they did a nice job. They're a good football team, and I hope they win the rest of them. 36-35, the final score at Indian Stadium. You mentioned uh, the play and the last drive at OSU. Did, did, that, uh, did that remind you uh, any of that? You had to go 79 yards in the game on well, the line. Well, you know, I, it does now, but it probably didn't then. Uh, you know, we worked two minutes a lot. It, it, that was by design. That wasn't something that we just uh, decided, well, hey, we got to go two minutes. We spent a lot of time in two-minute drills. And, you know, we felt like they were in man coverage. We knew what we wanted to do. It's such a pure example of trying to execute it. They called a timeout there, gave us a little advantage to, to get our win and emotions under control and, and, and execute the play. And we were fortunate to, to execute it and score a touchdown and win the game. Great game. Great outcome for the Arkansas State Indians. 36-35 is the final.